Hey guys, it's April. I just wanted to um, show some of you, I'm sorry if I bumped that camera, um, what the glitter tape that you get from Cricut is for. This is the white. Uh, this is what I have on hand, um, waiting on my shipment like you guys are. But I wanted to show you a little bit about how you use those. And I'm just going to do a card with it. I mean, it has many uses. Wherever you can use tapes, uh, washi tapes or anything of that nature, or you want to put a decor on something, um, you can, I apologize, I knew I was going to kick that. Um, you can use this tape. Um, so I've made my card base, and I'm going to provide this file for you guys. I'll let you know that this is a paid image. This may be a paid image, um, and the bow may be a paid image, but you can swap those out for anything. You don't have to use exactly what I used. Come up with um, something of your own. But I just put a length of ribbon um, on the tag here that I'm going to use on the front. This is the Cricut um, glitter card stuck in the white, and it matches the glitter tape. It has the same reflection and everything in it, same colors. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to set my base to the side for a moment, and we're going to work on the panel that goes on the front of the card. Now I have four strips in that file, and what we're going to do on these strips is I am going to take my glitter tape. I want to make sure that I'm in the camera for you guys. I um, am going to take my glitter tape and I am going to run it down the length of each one of these pieces. And it doesn't, I mean, you want to get it on there as straight as you possibly can. There are many, many, many uses for this. I'm just trying to center it up here. Maybe if I pull it closer to me, I apologize if I get off camera a second. I just want to get it lined up to get it started. And you, this uh, has tack that you can work with. There we go. That's looking good to me. So you can pull it off and you can do it again if you need to. And then I'm just going to run it down the length of that strip and these strips are a little bit longer than what we need so you have some room to play like that my tape is pulling up there we go and we're just going to press it down just trying to get it to line up I want it to line up as straight as I can get it and that's what I like about the glitter tape is you can work with it it's not completely stuck until you're through so and we have that one and you can use any colors that you want on this um, any colors of the glitter tape any colors of the cardstock and it's just if you'll notice that it's getting that little red hinge behind it because I'm using the dark red Cricut cardstock. Um, and that's okay because I don't want it to match that panel and blend in completely on my card. I want it to stand out a little bit. And then I'm just going to cut that off and set it to the side and I'm going to do these other two pieces. This will make sense to you in just a moment. A lot of times you can do a different color panel card and you can just run this tape. Um, let me see. So if this was your panel, you can just run a strip of this tape here and then put your tag or sentiment that's in the same color of the red cardstock here over it, just giving it a little bit of a, an accent. There are just tons and tons and tons of stuff that you can do with this tape. I apologize. I have a new tripod and the leg on this one sticks out just a tiny bit further than what I'm used to. And this is only my first video using this tripod. So I apologize. I don't mean to kick it and wobble you guys. I will get used to it. It'll get better. I promise. And then I'm doing this one. Cut that one off. And then the last one. 
and I'm using quite a bit of this glitter tape to do this project with but I mean if you got it on the Black Friday sale for 89 cents hey use it don't be don't be stingy with it make it pretty now I'm going to take my card panel and this is the tricky part on this one because I'm going to weave this so I am going to I just want to give myself enough room to glue it at the back I did not score these because I wanted you to have playroom for whatever you were doing and just bend it over to the back and then I am just going to glue this one tab I'm not going to glue anything else and I want it off the edge just slightly so I'm going to hold that till it dries. I'm leaving this loose and flopping for a reason. I'm using art glitter glue. I usually sell this in my Etsy shop. I can't ship it right now because the weather's too cold and I'm not getting a shipment until spring. Um, that being said, um, Amazon has it, Blitzy has it. We have uh, links in the pin post for Amazon and Blitzy. You guys use those links, help support the group. Now I'm just folding the other one, the small one, in the same manner as I did the long one. And I am going to glue just that tab down. If I can remember. I had this laid out in my head, so if I mess up, I mess up, and we'll correct it from there. But what basically what I'm doing is I'm making this look like a package on the front with the ribbon that one's not glued down yet so that's why it's not straight don't panic just going to bend those over too and you can do one set of ribbons or two you can just make one line down the back create your own card um, I'm going to I like that spacing so that's where I'm going to hold that and I'm going to glue that one so that I can, I'm just going to let that dry while I, because I'm going to be pulling on these and I don't want them to pop loose if I can avoid it. I'm just going to fold right there and put some here on this one. And then I'm going to space it and put it on the back. And that looks pretty good to me. I'm basically going to be doing like a basket weave, if that makes sense to any of you guys. This one over. There we go. So I've got the first strip is on, and then this strip. You can put these on in any order. It doesn't matter. But I've taken this, taken this small strip and went over the first one and under the second one, and then the bottom one I've gone under it and then over it. And that's basically all it is to doing that. And then I'm going to glue, I'm going to put some glue just a little bit on the back side of these, all four. Not a lot, because if I don't get these completely straight on the first try, I'm gonna have to pull them loose. Do a little bit of glue here. I apologize about my dog squeaking her toy. It's like she has to make noise when I least want her to. And I knew I would need to pull that. I didn't glue it completely down. I need to get it straight. There we go. That looks good to me. I've got a little bit of glue on the back of these here, but I didn't do much. Not enough to really stick, just to start getting tacky. And I'm going to line those up. I want them to go down straight. There we go. And then I'm going to fold this over. And I'm going to glue those two tabs. There we go. 
someone is trying to demand my attention. That's enough. I apologize, guys. Now we're going to glue the panel into place. You want a good amount of glue on there. You don't want those little tabs popping loose. Center that up on my card. Now I will go back and make sure that this is glued down underneath. I will still be able to get under there and get some glue. So if you have it popping loose in any of the places, just glue it back down. You'll be fine. I'm going to press it from the inside of the card. And then I'm going to set that off to the side to dry. Now that's pretty just like it is if you want to leave it. Actually, I think I may. I'm going to hold off on my tag. I want to do something to that. Now this is the bow from Anna Griffin, I believe. I can't. I think it's just from a petite, petite cartridge. I'm not sure. But I'm just using my fingernail and, and pulling on these to get some curve into it. You can wrap it around your finger just sorts of things and I know it looks like a funny bow but it really turns out cute and I may have not sized this correctly if I didn't I will tell you whether or not you need to go up or down on the sizing of it but I'm just curling it so that I can work with it and I'm just going to put a dab of glue there in the center and then I'm going to take this first piece and I'm going to glue it down. You just want a loop in there. You don't want to mash it flat. and You're just going to have to hold it until it it sticks. And you can try to do two at a time if you want to. Just getting that glue in there so that you can get these points down in there to glue. And it wants to pop loose on me. And you can replace this bow. Of course, I didn't have this much trouble on the practice. You can replace it, like I was saying, with a poinsettia. Just about anything, uh, a Santa Claus, anything you want. I'm going to be placing it right there where the bows, where the basket weave meets up. I'm not too sure that glue dots wouldn't have been better here instead of glue. I have a piece of fuzz stuck to my finger. Polyfill. I am having a hard time with my glue today. I never have problems with art glitter glue. What's going on? It may just be the bow itself. I'm not getting enough of the tip in there, too. I've got that polyfill stuck to my finger, and it doesn't want to turn loose. There we go. It's stuck. Now if I can just get the card stuck to stick. And I'm just pressing on the loops of these bows just to take the tension off of them and get them to relax a little bit. And you might want to wait and let one side of that dry before you go to the other. I'm impatient and I don't want to hold you guys. I don't I make my videos 30 minutes or less. Don't want to hold you guys up making you watch something for an hour that only takes 10 minutes to do. Get them all in there. They can dry at once. There we go. Just gonna hold it for a minute. Give that a push. I hope that you guys are getting that. It's really not difficult. It just wants to be stubborn because when I put more glue, I probably would have should have used 
glue dots for this, but it's getting there. And now this piece wraps around the middle to give it that decorative look. So I'm just putting some on the end and I'm wrapping that around the middle to the back to hold those in place. And I missed two of them. Ah. See, I never cut this out. Everything doesn't always go as planned, guys. So you're not the only ones that have trouble sometimes. I do too. Let me get my, see if that will hold it down, give it a little bit of pressure. And get a dot of glue there for these other two. It's just such a tight area, I'm making it so small that I can't get my finger in there or something and I'm popping them loose. There we go. Let me hold those down. Let them dry. Now, hopefully, Gonna give it just a minute. And I'm gonna wrap that piece around. I might have it. Yay! So now I have that piece in the middle, and you can decorate that up with a button or whatever um, that you want. And I have to decide, do I want to fold this? I think I do. I'm going to fold that, that piece. You can do it straight. You can do it however you want on there. And I'm just going to place it where it's hanging over just a little bit right there. And then go to the inside if you fold it. Ah. I'm not giving my glue time to dry. I want it to hang over just slightly. I'm going to hold it there. And then I'm going to place this piece over it here so that I have my bow. You can still see my basket weave. I'm not covering it completely. I'm going to let that dry. And then I, you can write a name on there or however you guys want to do this uh, with this ribbon. I think I am just going to let mine hang to the side freely. You can even make it shorter if you want. But I just want it to look like a gift on the top. So I'm just going to glue mine down diagonally on there. And I'm not gluing the top down, just... the base and I am going to place a couple of small foam squares under that top just to keep it lifted up. It's stuck to my fingernail. Just to give it a little 3D effect there. And yes, I glued mine down before I put those on there because I want to make sure I don't move it and that I get my pop dots exactly where I want them to keep that 3D lifted up. My glue is going to give me time to dry on top of that glitter paper so I can move it if I need to. And that is basically all there is to that card. But like I said, there are so many uses for this glitter tape, guys. Um, you can use it, like I said, one little strip across the bottom, put your sentiment over it. Uh, anywhere that you would use ribbon, um, you can use these, this tape. So, I mean, you don't have to glue it onto a piece of cardstock like I did. I just wanted that look. I wanted to give it a ribbon look. Um, so I did it that way. Just make sure that you get everything glued down on the front and always wrap your tape around to the back. 
you don't want to wrap it around and then have it show on the inside of your card. Uh, unless you're going for that look, you could always put a strip down the inside. Um, anything that you want to do to decorate it up. Um, but that's just a simple card. One of the uses that you can do that with. If you have any more questions, please let me know. You guys, show me what you're doing with your glitter tape that you got on the Black Friday sale. Have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up on the video. Join our uh, Facebook groups, Cricut Maker Projects and Cricut Crafting. There are two groups. If you need the file for this card, please click Show More in the description. And below that Show More, it will open up and it will show you our shopping links and our files and all of that will always be under there. So if you uh, need help with that, need assistance in me showing you how to find that, please come over to the Facebook group and I will be happy to do you some screenshots and show you how to find those. Have a wonderful day, guys. Make something beautiful.